Hi there everyone, welcome to Hanging with Pritam. This is continuation of setting up with your workspace where we are talking about how we can improve the workspace in PTC Crew Parametric to optimize your productivity. In last video, we saw how we can customize this ribbon interface. We also saw customization of this quick access toolbar, how to define command shortcuts and we also saw how we can customize this mini toolbar. In this video of setting up your workspace continue, we will talk about how we can further improve the appearance of models in PTG Creo parametric environment. We also will set up our config.profile where we will be doing certain customization which will help you to set up your favorite settings permanently. Because by default, Creo may come up with the template or settings that is not appropriate for your use case scenario. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on file and then option. Now let's click here on model display. From here, you can define how the default orientation of your model should look like. You can define it as trimetric, isometric, and you can also make it user defined. So I'm going to go with isometric view. And then here you can also define the def default rotation angle. So based on your need, you can set default rotation angle as well. Now here you will see further most customization. For example, while reorienting your model, you may play with these settings. You also have option of enabling or disabling animation. Let's say you have a system of a very low spec, then I would suggest you or recommend you to disable this so animation or else you can keep it enabled. Now let me click here on apply and now let's move on toward entity display. So entity display help us to improve the overall quality of the entity or model. For example, um, here you can see the way the edges are displayed. You can see the edges are not smooth. It is because we have set its value as medium. Let me keep it very high and now we will see difference in these edges. So let me click here on apply and let me click on export configuration. And then we may save it in our desktop. Now let me click OK and you will see refinement in edges. To further improve the smoothness of these edges, we will turn on anti-aliasing and then we will click on apply. And there we go. Now here you will see a very smooth edges of this entity. But again, let's say you have a very huge assembly, then you would like to go with lower setting or lower value because lower setting will help you to render your model with ease without taxing too much on your computer resources. But for most of scenario, you may turn this value as very high and anti-aliasing as 16x. If you also want to improve that text visibility, then you may also turn text anti-aliasing. And remember guys, this is specific for 3D model, not for drawing. Now, we also have option to set up the way we want to see our model. Let's say you want to see your default model as wireframe, you can set that. You want to set it as shading with edges, you can set that. Just need to click on OK and that's how you can set it up. Now, um, let me jump to the next portion. You may see the option of show datum plane. So let's say you do not want by default the datum plane to be seen, then you can uncheck this option. You also have option to enable shaded datum plane. It, I would say, totally depend on your need. In the same way, we have so many other customization. We also have a customization for dimensions, annotations, note and reference. Let's say you want to play with these settings, you can play with these settings as well. Similarly, here we also have a setting of animation display, which is specific for creating exploded view. So you can enable or disable it, although we're going to cover it in a later part. But I'm just quickly showing you the settings that are available with PTC Creo Parametric. Now here, let's say you are creating a sketch and you might have seen these constraints. 
then here we can see the option to customize the constraint as well i really wanted to make the size of these constraint slightly larger so that it can be perfectly visible while creating the 2d drawing now let me click here ok and let's see how now it look like let me add here line and there we go now here we can see it is now slightly larger let me go back to option and entity display and let's have a look how it look like let me try to increase its value further and then let's hit apply and there we go here we can see how big now this constraint look like now let's go down and we actually have seen all these customization now let's go here at system appearance in system appearance you may see different different themes available so based on your preference you may choose the theme that you would like to prefer i always want it to look a light so i'm gonna prefer the default theme and then you also have further customization available let's say you want different color features of datum so here we can see we can define plain color we can define point we can also adjust axis color similarly in case of graphics we can change the background color if you want you can possibly change anything that you want now let's go here at global so here you will see some very important setting for example map key map key is a kind of macro i also have created a dedicated video on map key i'm gonna put it in the description of this video if you want to check that out how we can create macro because showing you map key is going to take a lot of time so just check out the video that i have provided in the description of this video regarding map key and you will understand the utilization of this map key so map key in short will overall improve your productivity manifold if you are going to utilize it properly then we have got this model check that gonna help you to see whether your model is ready for let's say vmc you may set up certain validation and based on that your model need to pass let me close this i'm gonna come up with model check video soon then we have option of this creo instance creation now here we also have some customization available for version configuration which is by default okay i would say so i'm not gonna touch it then here we have customization for dex or design exploration setting so if you use dex then the setting may be useful for you then we have got this selection tool customization option which is basically this feature so you may play with these settings as well then you have got this notification center data exchange and update control one important setting that uh, you would like to do is inside sketcher here you can see different different constraints available and based on that you can enable or disable it but i'm gonna keep it as it is then uh, the important setting that i was thinking of changing the value is line thickness so this is basically line thickness of virtual line that we see when we are creating sketches inside ptz creo sketch environment if you are the one who think that the visual line in case of sketcher is not good enough then you may make this value as far as three you also have option of making the sketching plane parallel to screen i always would like to turn it on because what this basically will do is it will automatically make your sketching plane parallel to screen let me quickly show you what i mean um let's say i want to create a sketch here so as soon as i'm going to select it and going to click on sketch it will automatically make the sketching plane parallel to screen okay and the line thickness that i was talking about i was talking about this line now you can see how thick this visual line look like so similarly we also have uh, settings for sheet metal assembly and detailing 
although we have separate config file for retailing but here also they have provided few settings it seems that this video is also becoming too long so i will be continuing the remaining setting in next part where i will be talking about how you can set up your template permanently which will include part assembly and many other template we also will talk about some other customization file that's going to help you to further optimize your setting that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for such content and i will catch you soon in my next one till then take care and bye bye